Welcome back to the Nostalgia Filter and going to the Dinosaur Museum against Angelo's Express. Yo, oh, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. We have even things Dinosaur. to do. Oh. Hey, you, over there. Get over here. The admission fee is $5 per person. You're really going to spend extra money to do nothing? Are you just not into dinosaurs? You must be nuts. You and you have $15? An unusual specimen like you should be on display in the museum. Yo, like, usually they just say, like, wow, you're poor, like, once, but she, she had to walk us over and then take, like, a parting crack. <laughs> Jesus. A parting crack. Yeah, like an ass crack. Yes. Like, she, she farted. Yeah, like it was her anus. Yeah. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Now yes. I'm going to leave poor son. Uh, go back to the desert. Oh, do I have to walk through all those dumb tunnels again? Why are there so many tunnels? I mean, I suppose you might be able to take the bus back there, but it's more worth it to walk. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of butterflies in here. I mean, I yeah. suppose one butterfly doesn't restore all your PP, right? <laughs> no. no so, so now at this level, at, at this stage in the game, they're grouping them like two together. So that you, if you're gonna catch one, you can get like yeah, like a full butterfly's value. Um. So you're going to actually uh go to one of the hardest dungeons in the game right now. Oh, so good. Is it this the monkey is gonna cult be fun. Dungeon? Nope, not the monkey cult dungeon. I heard a dingle. Yeah, because I'm an asshole and didn't turn off my phone ringer again. That's what I do. Okay, so go back to where the miner was. Okay, so You're going too far. To go up and around the cliffs. Oh, fucking. Strira, stop being so weak and full of sunstroke. <laughs> Maybe you'll vomit on your desk. Can you fight the buffalo? Okay, so you see that new hole that opened up? Oh, yeah. This yeah. hole, it was made for me. So, all right, so who here has read The Enigma of Amagara Fall? I haven't. So, it's a really famous, like, um, short horror manga by uh, Junji Ito, the author of Spiral. Um, have you ever read Spiral? I have read Spiral. I'm familiar with Junji Ito. So, um, the plot of The Enigma of Amagara Fall uh, is that after an earthquake, a fault opens up mm -hmm. in the fault in, 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 in a town called Amagara. Oh! Uh, there are a bunch of um, human-shaped holes. Okay. And um, they te they televise the, the, the holes. Uh, they televise, you know, the, you know, because news crews are reporting on it. And um, they start finding that people from all over the world start, like, getting on airplanes and, like, running to the... Basically to the site, and they feel compelled to climb in the holes. Cause each okay. of these holes is shaped slightly differently, like a person. Mm -hmm. And if you see the hole that's in your shape, you feel compelled to enter it. Mm -hmm. And so there's all these people going fucking crazy and running to the fault and then getting in the holes. Uh, and they're like long caves that go all the way back. And like the protagonist. Like, it is one of a group of people that feels drawn there, but like, because a lot of people go there and they camp out and they're not sure why they're there until they see their hole. <laughs> uh, and then uh, you find out that like people get in holes and then they like walk through the, through the, um, through like the hole cave. Mm -hmm. And um, as, as they walk the, the, because it's exactly in the shape of your body. That's mm -hmm. why it's made for you. And um, but as you walk, the the shape of the holes deforms, mm -hmm. and event and you can't stop because you like once you're in there you're stuck, mm -hmm. and um, it just twists you into a horrible monstrous shape. It's really fucked up if you have claustrophobia. Huh. Also, describing it makes it less scary than like reading it as it happens. <laughs> so I just ruined it for everyone. But um, it's really awesome and very scary. Oh, does, so does it have healing, healing beta? Yes, but. Oh yeah. Okay. So um, I don't know if you were listening to the dude, but there's five moles. Yeah, I did see the thing about the five moles. Yeah, and so the whole is... body was covered in moles. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is a big, open, winding maze-like desert. Okay. Uh, which sucks that you don't have an exit mouse. Oh yeah, that um, does suck. Mm, maybe I should have gotten one before I came here. Oh well. Maybe. Snake. I love the stupid, like, front sprite of the snake on the field. Like, it's just it's got dirty. the big eyes, like, <laughs> The thirsty coil snake. Probably yeah, probably. Okay. Also, I don't know why I have her hitting it when she should be freezing it. 
Yeah, you're gonna be, um, th this is sort of one of the areas that leveling oh, yeah. up is the most important in. Ah, okay. Because, like, each of the moles is pretty much like Mondo Mole all over again. Ah. Uh, so let's hope that that doesn't happen again. But... <laughs> yeah, that was, well, no, it, it'll be fine. Oh, there's an exit now. Oh, yay! Oh. Get one. Please take my son. See, they knew that you would be really upset if you managed to get everything and still needed to find your way out. Mm -hmm. Got a croissant. And picnic lunch. Picnic lunches are good. Yeah, okay. They heal Croissa the whole. Croissant, less so. Maybe. Oh, uh, it's like 16 HP. Yeah, we got a lot of shit. Yeah. All right. So up here. Here's one. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles. Of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. Oh wait, so do, do they actually go in like a numbered order? Uh, well this is number three. So. Oh, I guess so they tell you which one you're missing. Yeah. Um, hit it. Um, Freeze beta. beta. And uh, spy on it. Alright. Nice! That's good. Oh, yeah, what the so fuck? Be careful. He, he's, he's, well, now his shield's gone, so. He's oh, vulnerable to BSI Flash, but, um, that's, a. Um, uh, you only have Alpha, so that won't do much. Uh, use healing instead of life up. Oh, fuck. Did I? Yeah. Probably want to use, uh, Freeze Beta. Yeah. Because physical attacks just won't do much. <laughs> Oh, there you well, go. Okay. Wow. You heal Yespa up after we get out of this. Ding, 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 ding. <coughs> I hope the sink is good. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sink was good last time. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, there we go. Yeah, so each one leaves all behind a... Uh, Gut capsule. What's so go, uh, those permanently increase your stats. Okay. Well then. Yeah. I was just like, what the fuck? The noose, man. What the fuck? It's a sentient noose. That's, that's not, it's kind of fucked up. A little fucked up, yeah. It's a little. A little bit. It's a tiny bit. Probably should have used fire on it, but I wanted to spy on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fire and brain What's shock? brain shock? You don't have it yet. Brain shock can make you like confused and stuff. Oh god. They're hanging, yes, but this is <laughs> fucked up. Alright. Yeah. Do nothing. I wish spying would show you how much like hit points they have left. Yeah. Alright. If you die, and I'm hoping you don't, but if you die, we might take a break to like get teddy more teddy bears and yeah. You know. Got a bunch of XP. 2004. Where were you in 2004? God, that was 12 years ago. Um, in college, in the middle of college. Wow. 2002 to 2006. I'm giving the bottle rockets to Yespa. I would have been solidly not going to class. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I miss about college, morning breakfast buffets. Really? I am such a huge fan of breakfast buffets. I love it. Breakfast buffets was probably how I gained like 15 pounds in college. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I just... It's, breakfast is so good. Also like, I mean, let's face it. Dining hall food is not great, mm -hmm. but it's really hard to screw up breakfast. Just a gigantic vat full of scrambled eggs is just, oh, there's something amazing about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to take annual trips down the shore, and there was a Bob's Big Boy that had a breakfast buffet. Ooh. Uh, that was the first time that I ever had grits. Oh, I and, love grits. And ambrosia. Yeah. Um, which was weird because I had ambrosia um, after I had learned in school that ambrosia was like this food of the gods. Yeah, this, like, the same thing happened to me. I'd never heard any 
the, uh, I'd never heard like uh, a food dish referred to as ambrosia until after I got really into Greek myth when mm-hmm. I was like seven or eight. Pro- probably because right around then was when uh, Hercules came out. Yeah, <laughs> Disney's Hercules. I actually quite like that movie. I but love go Disney's Hercules. Uh, James Wood as Hades is. Oh, he's the best. Correct. <laughs> Just correct in every way. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so it's like. I'm gonna have some. Oh, it's a big bee. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's a bee slash ant slash something. Slash what the? Uh, but anyway, you were into Greek myth. Yeah. Well, that that was the story. It was I, I I too had heard of ambrosia yeah. uh, before before like experiencing. So then I'm like, then I'm like, oh, is this like, like what is this? Like I thought ambrosia wasn't a real. <laughs> the weird thing about it was, you know, in Greek myth, it's characterized as this you know, uh, fantastic food of the gods, like nothing uh-huh. you'd ever taste before. And so, like, when I got the chance to have it, I tried it out, and I'm like, isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty mediocre. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was weird. I keep forgetting we have a teddy bear because it doesn't follow us. Uh, you just picked up a teddy bear, I think. Oh, did I? Yeah. In a, in a box? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Because we were talking about the food of the gods. Yeah, we were talking about the food of the gods. Okay. It's kind of like when when people uh, characterize peaches as like yeah. food of the gods. I'm yeah. like, peaches are okay. Yeah, they're okay. They're not my favorite food. My problem is I'm really picky with the texture of peaches, so I will only eat them in the middle of high summer. Like, and mm. then otherwise I'm like, and then otherwise I'm like, I mean, peach taste is not even my favorite. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh, yeah. It's like peaches. All right, so I'm on the second floor. Don't let me forget. Okay. You're on the second floor, you're on the second floor, you're on the second floor. Okay. You're on the second floor. You can stop now. You're on the second floor. You're on the second floor. Yes! Thank you! (laughs) So in the, uh, in the RPG limit break run through of this, which, by the way, everyone should find on YouTube, um, one of the guys doing it, for some reason, really didn't like Jeff. Okay. Uh, but it's like... It, it, it's like AGDQ in that there are donation incentives, mm-hmm. and um, they had <laughs> they had donation incentives to name everything. So they named Nest Jeff, and they named Paula Jeff, and they oh named God. Jeff Jeff, <laughs> and they named Pooh Jeff, and they named the dog Jeff, and they named oh the God, favorite the food, food Jeff. Jeff, and they named the favorite thing Jeff. Oh my God. <laughs> and they insisted that when talking about the game, they only referred to the things as Jeff. Mm-hmm. It was quite confusing. That's funny. I like that. Anyway, we'll be back to Jeff we'll the Jeff Jeff. We'll be back to Jeff the Jeff Jeff on next the second floor of Jeff. <laughs> next filter. time on No Nostalgia Filter. I can't, wait get, I can't wait till we make it to the fifth floor.